Hello, I'm Robin Elander, and I'm so excited to be here with Jennifer Luddington. Welcome. How are you doing? Hey, I'm so excited to be here, Robin. Thank you for having me. So Jennifer is going to be a speaker um, at this weekend at the Project Impact Retreat, a three-day boot camp for female entrepreneurs to get real about where they are with their business and to collaborate, connect, and grow. Um, I'm so excited to learn about your story and um, tell us a little bit about how you got into um, your business. Actually, hold on. Let me just properly introduce you here. So Jennifer Luddington is a weight loss and healthy lifestyle coach, and she inspires women to confidently embody their authentic power through living their healthiest life at their ideal weight. So that is incredible. And I'm so excited to learn how you support your clients. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Thank you, Robin. Yeah, I'm excited to share, you know, my whole story um, the, this coming weekend, but I want to give the audience some context. So, you know, I, I like to say that, you know, I didn't go looking for fitness or weight loss or any of these. It kind of found me and it found me in adversity. You know, I, um, I started this journey because I was literally in, in, in a very abusive relationship with my ex-husband. It was very verbally abusive. It was sometimes physically abusive, but I felt like my power had been taken from um, almost like I was suffocating, right? Like I, I couldn't find myself anymore. And I found myself struggling so hard and, and fitness found me, you know, it was my way to show up for myself. It was my way to empower myself. I felt like the, the stronger I got physically, the stronger I got emotionally and spiritually. And I got connected to myself mm -hmm. and you know, during that time, I had a daughter, and um, she's now 13, but wow. during that time, yeah, I know it goes so fast, <laughs> um, but during that time, I had my daughter, and I knew that I didn't want her raised in that powerless state. I didn't want her to see her mother in that situation, so, um, you know, having that physical confidence allowed me to kind of branch out, and I went out on my own with the baby on my hip, and I was able to confidently take on my life and take my power back. And it started all with lifting weights and getting healthy. Um, and so I, I soon after started my own business, um, A2O Fitness, which was a boutique fitness gym in Boise, Idaho. I went on then to open my own um, protein bar company that I founded and created on my own and then later sold, um, as well as a yoga studio. So I did my brick and mortar kind of business for over 12 years. Mm -hmm. Which, wow. yeah, I mean, it had its ups and downs. Let me tell you, I'll talk more about that at the retreat this weekend. But uh, being a single mom, being self-funded, um, being, you know, recently leaving my, my ex-husband and being completely self-sufficient was definitely, you know, there were times where I was scraping the bottom of my car for milk money, right? Like that was part of my story. So it's definitely something that's taken me, you know, through the highs and lows of being a business owner. But through that, it also took me through the highs and lows of being a fitness model, a fitness competitor, um, being in the fitness world, like fitness perfectionism that I was really attached to. And my worth was really kind of tied to my external, mm. right? And I found myself really striving for that external approval. Um, that external, you know, that you're worthy, that you're good enough. Um, and then that was kind of touched to my money too, because my body became the way that I made money. Hmm. So it's like, how do I, you know, if I don't keep this facade, right, all this physical stuff, can I still take care of my daughter? Can I still have my businesses? Do people still want to train with me? And um, it took me down a really dark road of massive eating disorders. Um, and I was living this complete lie. I was speaking about health and fitness, but in reality, it was like this constant struggle with my own body image. And so, you know, I, I've learned through that, that being authentic and really being transparent and really when I started speaking it out loud and telling my story from my heart and sharing, um, that darkness and what I was really going through is when I was finally able to set myself free. Mm. And yeah, that's, that's where I find my niches with women is allowing them that to have that voice so that they can be free. That's incredible. What a journey. And it's amazing that you've been able to find your way through that and now helping other people to navigate their lives around this. Um, what 
are some insights that you would like to share um, and can you tell us a couple maybe tidbits of what you might be um, talking about this weekend? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, so for me, I think that we all have these like moments of imposter syndrome, right? As women, we always have this little voice on our shoulder saying, you're not good enough, you're not smart enough, why does your voice matter? And, you know, we tend to listen to that voice a lot and it keeps us small. So for me, I've had to learn how to not only coach myself through, but my clients through working through those voices so that you could start to unravel, you know, where those beliefs began so that you can, like, I like to say, slay them or slay your dragons. Yeah. Okay? And when we slay our dragons, that's where the breakthroughs happen. And slaying your dragons doesn't always start with the obvious, you know, it's sometimes very subtle and it's deep in the subconscious or unconscious and unraveling that is key. And so now my goal with women is, you know, people think that weight loss or, you know, health is all about, you know, exercise and eating right. But really my take on it is mindset first. So it all starts here. And once this is under control, everything else kind of starts to fall into place. Mm. So that's definitely something I'll be speaking on this weekend. And I'll also be speaking on, you know, some of the, you know, the trials and errors of being a small business owner, right? And speaking about, you know, how, how many times I failed <laughs> and, and, and having that resilience, right? And how to find that resilience when you're feeling defeated and you're feeling like your failures aren't pushing you forward. And so I have some great tips and tidbits on how to find that resilience and keep pushing forward. Ooh, I can't wait. So <laughs> exciting. Oh my goodness. So Jennifer is part of um, 15 speakers that we have uh, this weekend, October 18th through the 21st. We still have a few spots left for people who are interested in joining us at this epic uh, private estate in Santa Barbara. We have um, 360 degree views of the ocean, of the mountains. These rooms are incredible we have two cooking classes in the evening we have yoga self-defense courses um and this is going to be an, an opportunity for us to all really slow down pause reevaluate where we're at learn grow and implement what we've learned together and it's going to be a special experience and this is grown from um, some two-day retreats that uh, the co-founder and I and um, another uh, co-founder who's we've kind of gro all growing our own things it's super exciting and um, we had a two three two-day events called the soul success summit and this is kind of the next level of that because we found that there was a, no a need for people to just spend um, a little bit more time in a relaxed way together. Those were um, incredible and we've learned so much from them. And this is just an opportunity for us to all stay together at this space. Um, so you have the opportunity to meet Jennifer and, um, and a bunch of other speakers from mindset to income generating strategies, business strategy, learn more about financial acumen, um, productivity and everything kind of in between that gives that life balance and then we'll have an opportunity to for um, follow-up um, afterwards so is there anything else you would like to share Jennifer before we connect um, this weekend with our audience yeah you know the one thing I, I think that women and, I, and this is, I, I think I'm speaking to most women, but I've trained you know, over a thousand women in my career. And the one thing that I know we do a lot of is we have this need to be perfect. We have this need to strive for perfectionism. And I really hope this weekend we can all just come together and let that go. Yes, absolutely. And we all just relax and understand that we're all a work in progress, right? We're all working on something. We're all working towards something. We've all come from failures and successes, and we all get to meet, share our experiences so that we can let go of the need to put on a face and be perfect. Mm -hmm. Just be real instead. Let's allow ourselves to be perfectly imperfect. Yes. 
is possible through that experience. Absolutely. So great, Jennifer. Well, we'll we see each other very soon. Um, there is surprisingly epic prices right now to fly into Santa Barbara for anyone who's wanting a last minute getaway. It, I just checked the other day um, from Buffalo. I'm from there nearly like um, originally. And there's $333 flights round trip from Buffalo straight into Santa Barbara, which is unheard of. So wherever you're coming from, if you're um, nearby to Jen or there's probably a reasonable deal um, if you act fast. So we'll share a link um, and you'll get a discount if you um, mention Jen's name and just so excited about connecting with you. So thank you so much and we will see you soon. Okay, see you this weekend. All right, great. And for people who wanna check it out again, it's theprojectimpact.com is the website. All right, have a good one. Bye Robin.